Hello everyone, it's me, Mattsmith. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you stopping by. So I have been blessed by being approached by a company known as Green Wolf Gear. Now, Green Wolf Gear produce, I guess, accurate and extremely accurate models and uh, sort of figurines for both the British Army and other sort of settings and, and themes that are located on the website. Now, Green Wolf Gear is an absolutely outstanding company um, because A, they're supported by, um, you know, veterans and veterans alike. And it is owned by a veteran. A British Army veteran actually has produced this company and produced these items that you see today. So to me, that's a big thing. And you know me, folks, I'm not going to review stuff that I don't support myself. Being that I am a British Army veteran, of course, I'm going to support uh, businesses that are, you know, you know, owned by veterans. And maybe that makes me a little bit biased. I, I think you're going to be a little bit mistaken with that bias though because when you look at some of these items and you look at the quality of these items and what we're looking at today it's absolutely incredible now i have been sent some of these items in the past some time ago and some of you may have been aware of the l129a1 rifle that you're seeing just on the left here that i did a bit of a live stream on and showed you a little bit of uh in the past but i never did a dedicated video because i didn't have a figurine or a character to actually put the rifle with and as much as i could showcase you the rifle um just as is i'd much rather sort of get a dedicated video with a figurine and of course green wolf gear being so so kind in sending me the products that you see in front of you today i have now actually been sent the british army figurine itself that i can actually show to you with the items uh, behind so as you can see there is doubles of everything and that means there's gonna be a giveaway yes i'm going to be giving away one of each of these items and potentially to a very lucky guest this particular item you see right here i also have a giveaway code um, or so, I guess a promotional code in the description box below. So if you want to go check out greenwolfgear.com, I would strongly encourage you to go do so. It's www.greenwolfgear.com. Now I am not being paid for this review. I am doing this in the basis of my own strong will in that I want to support this business because I feel like it deserves it. And this is some really cool stuff. Um, you know, I'm not a big model guy, but when you see some of the things that we're gonna look at right now, it's kind of astonishing to say why I'm not uh, a model guy. We're going to have a quick look, though. First of all, the L129A1. So the L129A1 is the 7.62 millimeter rifle that the British Army is using right now. Uh, this is a very accurate representation of that rifle to the point where I can even actually pull the cocking handle to the rear um, and operate the, the working parts inside. The dust cover actually does open. I haven't got nails to open it right now, but it does. You can put magazines in there. In fact, there is P-mags here that I can actually uh, install into the rifle if I wish to, uh, to make it sort of set up as if I was actually putting it onto a service member. And again, just look at the attention to detail there, folks. Of course, the collapsible buttstock at the back also operates to the back and to the rear. Um, everything on here is just, just really, really cool. The little tiny springs on the front of the uh, of the bipod there. We've got the handrails can be taken off or the handguards on the side can be taken off. Um, it, it just looks beautiful. The front foregrip here can also be taken off or removed if you want to. The ACOG on top, it still has its glass on the back. I think you can see the reflection. Really, really, really cool. Um, I absolutely think this is, you know, in terms of British Army equipment and how it would look, a very accurate representation of the L129A1. Now, I've never shot the L29, uh, L129A1. Uh, I would love to, but, uh, you know, my time in my British Army was way beyond when they actually released that rifle. Uh, we also have the RGW90AS, which is an anti-tank weapon system, and the Valen VMH3CS which is the basically mine detecting equipment of the British Armed Forces. And all of these products are available to you from Green Wolf Gear. Go check them out, folks, please, please. But here we are. It's the, the I guess, the, the ultimate piece that we want to look at today. And I apologize for my lighting. I'm not really good at these sort of review things. So uh, thank you again, Green Wolf Gear, for allowing me to review this. I, I hope I'm going to do some justice for you here with actually looking at this product. So this is a one in six scale of uh, a British Army soldier, and you can tell, just tell by the packaging, just the level of quality, ignore that, that's just a little, little bit of uh, dust on the top there, but uh, the level of quality that this thing has is, is beautiful, just from the exterior packaging, we've got the NATO symbol there, we've got the beautiful British flag, uh, sort of torn and tarnished at the end, Kabul Security Force, so we're in Afghanistan, uh, and this again relates to me, my service in the British Army, of course I went to Afghanistan, nowhere near in the level of kit that this gentleman is holding right now, but a cut, you know, it is what it is, uh, but this is modern, you know 2019 kind of setup and it's beautiful so let's have a quick read of the back here it says uh, operation toral 
Operation Toral is the codename for British presence within Afghanistan post-2014 as part of NATO's Resolute Support Mission. Operation Resolute Support is a NATO-led train, advise, and assist mission consisting of over 17,000 troops in Afghanistan, which began on January 1st, 2015. It is also a follow-on mission to the International Security Force, or ISAF, which I was a part of, which was completed on December 28th, 2014. UK forces have now two major tasks, training and mentoring Afghan forces and providing force protection um, for NATO advisors via the Kabul Security Force and Kabul Protection. Now, this bad boy is loaded up to the nines. It looks like he's got some Virtus on there. He's got the beautiful L85A3 version rifle there. So we're going to have a real cool look at that. Um, covered in MTP. He's got the funky lower boots there. This is going to be incredible to look at. So we're going to open this up. And as I said, you know, the packaging alone is absolutely beautiful. So let's slide this guy out. It's got a sleeve package here, which is really nice. We'll just push this to the to the side there for now there we go and uh, in fact we'll just kind of put that here it looks a little better like that there we go there we go um again packaging folks it, it packaging tells you a lot about a product that is a stenciled green wolf gear um writing on the front there packaging tells you a lot about a product that you're going to be using or having because if they're putting a lot of effort into the packaging which is just boxes you know fine well that they're going to put just as much effort in the product itself if not more so this is looks like it's kind of a flap open style this is really nice again crisp opening box um if you like models you like figurines you know you know fine well i'm not used to this kind of stuff but you know fine well that again if packaging is like this you know it's going to be incredible so let's put this foamy stuff to the side we are Already uh, looking at our soldier here. He looks very uh, very formalized right now. We're going to gear him up to the nines for sure. He is uh, suffocating right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Already, I can tell this is going to be amazing. Now, I owned Action Man as a kid. Um, and Action Man was the toy of the UK. It wasn't G.I. Joe. We never had G.I. Joes. Um, but this is the next level up. Uh, well, well beyond that. This isn't a toy, folks. This is not a toy. This is a... I would say like a replica figurine slash model. Oh my God. Like seriously, detail wise. Okay, so let's just start off with the soldier himself and go from there because the detail already is astonishing. Let's start off with his face. Um, the figurine's face is very well, very well, uh, I guess, cast, the plastic casting there. The facial expression and features are really, really cool. Hair is, you know, well... It, it, it's very similar to my hairstyle in some regard. Um, the one thing that screams out to me already, look at this. Look at this. Just a tiny little zipper. And I mean tiny. Like, I, Does it unzip? I don't want to break it. Oh my god, it does. That's epic. That's epic. So he's got his uh, OTW over the wire shirt. Um, really, really nice there. He's got his gloves on. There we go. Ready to do the... He's already got the... Uh, the swipe hand going, or he hasn't got the swipe hand, he's got the finger point. Um, MTP written all over him. We've got the Velcro patches, which I presume are removable. That is badass. Again, again, attention to detail, right? So look at the Velcro patch. It's not just a Velcro patch. It's been stitched in the cross pattern, which would be the cross pattern of which you would have the, you know, under your actual, wow, and the half and the half folded uh, pockets as well. This is incredible, guys. Really simple, small attention to detail things. His belt here, I'm pretty sure I could probably undo his belt. I'm not going to do that. Um, let's have a look at the pants here. So again, half fold pants. Uh, the boots. Look at the booties. Look at those. They've actually got strings on them. That's incredible. They've actually got the uh, the laces, which, which I'm not going to do up right now. <laughs> we'll make him look a lot prettier at the end. And uh, we'll, we'll make sure that uh, you, you buy one of these things because if you are into figurines this is the place to go honestly um okay let's put him to the side for now and have a look at some of the equipment that's inside of here we've also got um that looks like i'm not too sure what that's for but maybe we'll we'll take a look later let's open up this little package here it looks like all of his equipment's in here again really nicely packaged trying not to sort of destroy the packaging it's just as beautiful as it is the product itself oh oh god okay matt well we're just gonna oh, okay we're just gonna let it all fall out that's fine so let's see what we got here. Well, <laughs> we'll save the best to last, shall we? Let's pull these little items inside of here. Uh, let's start off with... Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this. They've even got the patches. Look at these patches. So you've got the NATO OTAN RS. You've got his blood type and his, his flash there. Serial number, last four, and his surname. SH, I'm not too sure. 
what his last name would be, but anyway, maybe it's Shepard or something. We've got glow sticks inside of here. It looks like some chem lights uh, and a map, a couple of Afghanistan maps. That's really cool. Uh, we'll take a look at them in a second. Uh, let's push them to the side. Let's get this little scrap piece out of the way. Here's the Virtus, folks. So I've never worn Virtus, never used Virtus, so I wouldn't even know how to put this on this soldier. But uh, again, wow. Detail, folks. It's all in the detail. Look at that. Each and every mole strap has been stitched to perfection. Just look at that. That is incredible. That is really, really cool. So we've got some side pouch there, some utility pouches. We'll obviously have to actually uh, install it. I, I actually believe these unclip. I don't really want to unclip them in case I break them, but I think you can actually unclip those straps, uh, which is really cool. Um, it looks like there's the emergency quick release, which also works. So, you know, if you want to, if you're in a tough situation, you want to get him out of his uh, Virtus there, then you can do so. That is so cool. Okay, so there's his shoulder strap for the Virtus system. There we go. So very, very cool. Very, very nice. Um, I believe this is Virtus. It also looks like Os No, it's definitely Virtus with that with that plastic catch on there. Yeah, that's definitely Virtus. So there we go. There's his body armor. We'll put that on in a second here. What else we got? Uh, lots of extra little pouches, it seems. Probably ammunition pouches, I would say. Yeah, we got utility pouches. We've got like a bomb kit, it looks like. Um, oh my god, I think I think I can get this stuff out. I don't I don't feel like I'm Let's see if I can. Oh, here, folks. I want to break things here. Oh, my God. It does unclip. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't get anything out of there, but I thought there may be some stuff inside there. Uh, no, it's just it's just filled. But that's okay. That's our dump pouch, I believe. It looks like a mag dump pouch. Um, what else we got in here? Okay, so these are all filled with foamies, but I can I can almost assure you there are probably other equipment here that we can probably put inside of there. So lots of little pouches that we'll put uh, on the kid in a second here. So mag pouches and things. Let's see what else we've got here. Oh my goodness, look at this, guys. Again, attention to detail is always key here. Oh my goodness. Incredible, we got the frog bayonet. So we've got the frog bayonet there and the actual bayonet that you're actually seeing over on that side that goes into it. Look at that detail, though. You can see that very well with the camera, but that's, that's badass. That's incredible. Okay, so we're going to stick that in the frog bayonet there. There we go. Ready for some battle. <laughs> really, really cool. Uh, we've got like a flashlight pouch, um, like a first aid kit pouch. We've got all sorts of different pouches, of course. I'm not going to go through them all right now because we'll be here all day. Um, let's put all the, the, let's put the gear over to the side here. Make some, some distance. Okay, what else we got? Let's see what else we've got in here. So I gotta fall. I guess there's some. Hopefully, there's some instructions I can follow to sell this stuff up. <laughs> um, okay, so this is. Oh wow! I believe this is uh, just a standard webbing setup. So if you want to go old school like I do, and you want to be like the uh, the I guess the um, PLC or personal load carrying equipment setup, you can actually go that side. So we can actually put a uh, waist strap. So this would actually just go around his back like that like I like. This is the kind of style I like to set up my webbing, which I can't do in the Canadian Army, but in the British Army, that's obviously what we... We never used to have all these kind of fancy body armors. So it's a waist strap uh, kind of setup, like the PLC. That's really cool. So maybe we'll take a look at the configuration of both of those. What else we got? Oh my God, it's just like a big bag of goodies here. Oh, yes. So a small little day pack here, a little day sack. Um, again, opens up. It's got two zippers on it. Look at that. I just opened it up. You see that? <laughs> That's so cool. And inside is like a string or rope of some kind. Like a, I'm not too sure, like a rappelling rope maybe. Really, really cool. Again, zippers actually work. <laughs> so a little day pack for him there as well. Let's see what else you got. Oh, this is a cool piece. This is an important piece. His helmet. <laughs> And inside there looks like another little pouch of some kind. I believe that's going to be probably some straps in there. Uh, his helmet is, again, the detail. Look at the level of detail inside of there. Each strap having its own catch and tightening piece. Um, it's got its own Velcro on the sides there. So you want to put Velcro on the sides for your patches, you can. Um, incredible, guys. Incredible. Really, really cool. So you've got your night vision mount on the front there. Wow. 
Okay, so we'll put the helmet up there with my buddy. What else have we got? It's just it's just endless baggy bags of goodies here. Oh, so there's sorry, there's my mag dump pouch right there. So we've got the mag dump pouch. Again, I'm not even entirely sure what some of this stuff may be. Oh, there's our crotch protector. The combat thong. There's the combat thong, boys and girls. There you go. I've got to wear that. That's our combat diaper or combat thong. It's protecting us from, you know, nasties from IDs. You really don't want to get anything in that spot. I can tell you that much. Um, okay, really cool. Let's see what else we got. We're slowly, slowly running out of baggies. Oh, okay. We got the sidearm. There we go. So there's his, his leg strap for the holster. Again, all the straps and clippies work. You can see these little tiny little clips. They're tiny little things, but they all work. They all connect to each side. Uh, the detail on the holster is very, very nice. Very crisp. Uh, and then we have our Glock, which uh, I've never used the British Army Glock. Um, let's get it out here. There we go. Glock. I don't know if it operates. I can't operate the cock. Oh, you can operate the cock and handle. Oh, my God. Look at that. You can operate the cock and handle. <laughs> And the magazine as well. It's a 9mm in there. Do you, do you see what I mean about level of detail? Oh, there's already a mag in there. <laughs> that is amazing. Little Glock there. So that's obviously going to go into his holster. So let's just let's try, try that out. <laughs> that's amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so there's his, there's his Glock. Um, oh, we got the eye protection there. You can't go into combat, folks, without eye protection. That's literally a fact. Um, you know, back in the olden days, eye protection wasn't a thing. Now they've realized that just a simple rock fragment can take a soldier off the battlefield. So, nice eye pro there, some ESSs. What else we got? NVGs. NVG sight. Let's see what this looks like. I might, might be able to put batteries in it. It'll power up, considering the level of detail we're looking at so far. So, there we go. So, again, I've never really used one of these before, so I'm going to break it. But I believe... Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. It, it moves. Okay, so if I put that, I'm, I'm sure it will mount inside of here. I just, give me a second here, folks. Technical difficulties, putting Matt to do something like this is never a good idea. Oh, there we go. There we go. Night vision capable. Um, I believe, I'm, I, I'm not sure if I'm, oh, the cap comes off the end. <laughs> That is so freaking cool, guys. Look at that. Badass. That is absolutely badass. It even has the side claps there for the flashlights and other ancillaries that you want to install in the helmet. Really freaking cool. I love how it's got the lens protector on there and the lens cap. Let's stick that back on there like that. Nice. Nice. Fold it away unless I need it. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, what else we got? see here looks like these are all like the little accessories okay so we got, <laughs> they got a little notepad a little baby notepad oh my god and it even has like waterproof notebook protector i can't even read i'll try and read the text here. it's hard for me to see but uh wow they got a carabiner on there they've got the tourniquet or tourniquet as the americans like to say uh, the tourniquet there, so if, if you lose your leg, you can put your own tourniquet on. I can almost guarantee you that's probably going to work too. Let's uh, let's get that out. I bet I can unstrap. I bet I can... Well, first of all, let's look at this little tiny notepad, just because I'm, like, baffled at how cool it is. Oh, my God! Look at this! You can even see stuff written inside of it. <laughs> that's so cool! Like, range cards and nine-liners and epic 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 little tiny little a tiny little range card there little tiny notebook i mean this is do you see what i mean by the level of detail folks we're not messing around here this is not a toy um carabiner i believe this will unclip yeah we can unclip that and the tourniquet try and undo it here but again if i can give me a second here folks no i think that just stays as is yeah, that just stays as is. That's fine. It still looks the part. You can see all the strapping in between there. Sorry for my camera there. It's trying to focus. Um, smoke grenades. We've got smoke and frag. So we've got some fragmentation grenades and some smoke grenades in here too. Let's see what other items we have. Oh, 
He's even got his own watch and his own Garmin. So you got <laughs> a little tiny baby Garmin there. There you go. It even says Garmin on there, a little tiny GPS watch there, or GPS unit, and then his own watch. So again, little tiny watch. <laughs> Everything is like, I, I mean, I can see, you can't see it on the camera because it's hard to see. It's not going to focus that well. But uh, the detail of just in the inside of the watch face is even, you know, modeled well. We've got the uh, L132A1 smoke grenade there. Again, all detailed with the little, it's even got the little, I don't know if I want to remove this. It probably will remove. Yes, it does. Oh my God, look. Look, 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 look. You can pull the pin out of this thing if you want to. I'm not going to, but you can if you want to. <laughs> so cool. So cool. Okay, so you've removed the pin from that. I can almost guarantee that the the uh, grenade itself is going to be... So the British Army called the L109A2. It's been a while since I've operated the, uh, the fragmentation of the British Army. And again, the pin pulls out of that too. <laughs> so there we go. One smoke, one frag. Really, really cool. Let's get to uh, some other pieces here. We're going to go to radios next. <laughs> I, I'm baffled by the level of detail here everyone like literally so here's our long antenna i'm kind of just throwing this stuff around because i don't want to take too long with you know I would, i'd rather try and give you a rough idea of all these things so it looks like we've got our bowman system a bowman radio or prc radios all this good stuff um this is the falden system so the harris system little radio again detail i'm trying to get focus but it's going to be hard for me to get it here Trying to get that focus. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to see it. Camera's having a bit of a hard time. Oh, there we go. There you go. There's, there's the detail of the, the radio. Okay. And then we got uh, our own personal radio. Or PRR. Little PRR radio here. <laughs> well, this thing's intricate. So I'm not going to get too intensive here. But we have the, the headset with the actual nice netting top here. The, uh, the mic that moves around sorry there folks the phone rang i have to uh have to pick it up it kind of caught into my phone uh so here we go there's the uh, the intricacy of the radio really really cool uh, but i want to move on to the pièce de résistance right now which is of course the beautiful l85 rifle and what a freaking beautiful detailed rifle this is the l85 a3 may i add which has um removable magazine with rounds in the top uh, it also has a cock and handle that moves back and forward. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want to break it in case I do it live and I don't want to break a product live. Um, the uh, optic on top, which is showing a little flash of glare there from the, the uh, from the glass. The uh, L85 A3, of course, we've done a video on in the past uh, if you want to go check that out. But it does have its change receiver now, different welds on the receiver and the very fancy handguard that it has. They're also very, very nice. Uh, the front foregrip is uh, also deployable with the uh, bipod there. So if you want to put that on, you can. Uh, the other little features we have is the uh, the rails that can be put down the side if you want to put that on there. So we'll put a we'll put a rail on there. It looks looks very nice, doesn't it? Really, really cool looking, guys. We can also put our a uh, flashlight and, and and designator on there, or sort of laser if we wish to. Um, you know, really, really cool. I'm not going to put that on right now. I don't want to get too intricate, but uh, very, very cool looking. Very, very detailed. Very, very nice. It's got the RDS on top too. You can see even sort of the bolt release catch, the magazine release catch, the uh, select switch, the takedown pins at the back, all very, very detailed, very, very nicely modeled. If you like accurate representation of a British soldier in a figurine style, this is the place you need to go. Green Wolf gear, guys, I have a whole level of respect in terms of quality and detail and accurate representation with this product. It's, it's incredible. Um, it even has its own <laughs> rifle slings. So if you want to put the rifle sling on the L85, you can do that too. Really, really fun. Really, really cool. Uh, we're not going to try and install it right now because it, it's going to be intricate. It's going to take some time. Um, what I will do now, though, is I'm going to set up um, the character and make sure he looks all nice and pretty. And then uh, we'll carry on with the rest of the video, folks. So here we have it, folks. The fully completed. I say somewhat fully completed. I'm not going to lie. This is not something you put together in 10 minutes. It took me almost two, maybe three hours to get this guy put together. Uh, just due to the fact that the intricacy of the little things that you're trying to put together, there's a lot of straps, belts, clips, uh, just like any normal soldier would be. And uh, it's like literally setting up your equipment as a soldier, um, but has, uh, you know, miniature form. And I had to actually use 
um, a pair of tweezers pretty much the entire time to put this thing together because uh, there's just so much detail that you have to work with, whether it be straps, clips, etc. I couldn't actually get some of the um, component pieces on because it would just take me forever. And I really wanted to just show you the basics of what uh, you can put this soldier into in its configuration. I've got a mag dump pouch. I've even put my smoke grenade just loose fitting instead of putting it in a pouch. A lot of things that you know I haven't quite done, which I still think you get the broad idea of you know, what the loadout you can kind of get is I'm, I'm missing some pouches, uh, the configuration to the front. I would never have a uh, frag grenade like that just to attach the front of my vest, but just gives you an idea of, you know, exactly what the kind of things you can install. Of course, the watch itself, that took some time to install. I can tell you that much just because the, the strap and the clips is all like the real thing. It's not like we're just, uh, you know, going about, you know, clipping things on, gluing stuff on. This is all the same kind of gear that you would be attaching. See, I've got his, I've got his freaking chin strap. Uh, got it twisted there but that's okay but you get the idea you know you can see you know everything is is operational right so the clips work um the clamps work the straps work the uh the lens cover works right so everything is operational for this soldier to do what he needs to do if he was real um the the detail folks i have no words for it it's just unbelievable the mole straps i've had to individually attach each each um <laughs> pouch using the mole liner uh, that's no easy feat doing it with the with the tweezers i could tell you that much but if you're into models then this is where you need to go right if you're into this kind of thing you're into you know true accurate detail this is where you need to be this is what we're looking for in terms of its realism it's outstanding beautiful uh l85 a3 there with the uh, cock and handle that can pull to the rear magazine removable Everything operational um, in terms of removable and, and installable accessories. His finger can be put on the trigger if I want it to. Just sort of squeeze it in there. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it now because I'll probably make him fall over or something, but you can place his finger on the trigger if you want. Facial features, he's looking very serious right now. Very serious. Uh, but of course, folks, an absolutely outstanding piece of realistic model um, slash character figurine for the British Army here, the Kabul Security Force. Again, I would really encourage you to go check out greenwolfgear.com. Beautiful items that we have in the background here will be also uh, up for a look at in the near future. And I will be giving these items away. The L129A1, the uh, the Valen, and the anti-tank missile launcher at the back there. Uh, please go check out that website, folks. I promise you, if you want to have something that is really cool as a talking piece or as a showcase uh, for your, you know, your army buddies, or if you just like models, you like this kind of stuff and the level of detail, this is where you need to go. I mean, even look at the Garmin for crying out loud, folks. They even got like each button, each switch, each bit of de detailed writings on there. It's all there. Um, so please, folks, if you want to, you know, check out this product, if you have any questions, you can feel free to talk to me uh, in the comments section, or you can actually speak to Green Wolf Gear themselves at www.greenwolfgear.com. Uh, you can also speak on my Discord. I do have the individual who owns this business. Again, as I said, he is a British Army veteran uh, who is adamant on his quality control and his realism uh is also on my discord so you want to have some personal one-on-one -on -one chats with him about the product if you have interest in purchasing some of these items there is a code below in the description box which i should have put there if i haven't slap me and tell me in the comment section i'll make sure it's there so you can get uh, some potential bit of discount there for uh looking into buying and purchasing these kind of items from the website and of course, there's going to be probably a lot more different models of different variants coming up in the future. These kind of things take a long time to uh, to set up and to design and procure because of the level of detail and accuracy. So the quality is going to is going to pay for itself when you actually grab one of these things. I guarantee you, and I really encourage you to do so if you do enjoy figurines and models. Anyway, thank you again for uh, stopping by today and watching, folks. And I hope you have a wonderful day. All the best. Bye bye. believe it's gonna go let's just have a look here Whoa. <laughs> pleasures of filming folks pleasures of filming i'm taking myself out with my own camera see this is why i don't do reviews this is why i don't do reviews <laughs> we're not going to try and put that on for obvious reasons as i'm already taking myself out with the camera here um but oh.